In this video, I'm going to show you sample question answers related on the topic of cost, revenue, and profit functions. Some of the things to remember before we attempt any questions on this topic. Number one, the cost function is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost, where variable cost is equal to P times Q, and P represents the cost price per unit. Next, the revenue function is also P times Q, but P is equal to selling price per unit. And the profit function is equal to revenue minus cost. Okay, let's look at sample question number one. A factory produces a product which sells 400 ringgit per unit with material cost of 75 ringgit per unit and labor cost of 25 ringgit per unit. The fixed cost is given as 50,000 ringgit. Find the gross profit the factory sells 1,000 units. So let's start off with the cost function equals the fixed cost plus variable cost. The fixed cost is given as 50,000, so substitute with 50,000. And the variable cost, so we have material cost of 75 per unit and labor cost of 25 ringgit per unit. So therefore, variable cost is P times Q. So substitute P with 75Q plus 25Q. So we will get 50,000 plus 100Q. So since uh, the firm is selling 1,000 units, so when Q is equal to 1,000, therefore cost is equal to 50,000 plus 100Q. Substitute Q with 1,000. We should get 50,000 plus 100,000. And uh, when we simplify 50,000 plus 100,000, the cost is equal to 150,000. Next, for the revenue, revenue equals to P times Q, and we were given the selling price as 400 ringgit per unit times Q. So when Q is equal to 1,000, then the revenue is equal to 400 Q, substitute Q with 1,000, we should get 400,000 ringgit. Therefore, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. Substitute revenue with 400,000 minus cost 150,000. So we should get the profit equals to 250,000 ringgit. Next, we look at sample question two. What is the total number of units of goods that must be sold in order to get a profit of 1,450,000 ringgit if the selling price is 200 ringgit per unit? The material cost is given as 30 ringgit per unit and labor cost is 15 ringgit per unit. The fixed cost is given as 100,000 ringgit. So let's start off with cost equals to fixed cost plus variable cost. Fixed cost is equal to 100,000 plus variable cost. So we have material cost which is 30 ringgit per unit and labor cost 15 ringgit per unit. So variable cost is equal to 30 times Q plus 15 times Q. So we will get 100,000 plus 30 plus 15 equals to 45Q. Next, the revenue is equal to P times Q where P is the selling price given as 200. So we have 200Q. So profit is actually equal to revenue minus cost. Okay, so we substitute revenue with 200Q minus cost we have found as 100,000 plus 45Q and the profit is given as 1,450,000. So from here simplify the left hand side. We should get uh, 200Q minus 100,000 minus 45Q equals to 1,450,000. So from here 200Q minus 45Q equals to 155Q and the 100,000 we shift it to the right plus 1,450,000, so we should get 1,550,000, 1, okay? So therefore, Q is equal to 1,450,000 divided by 155, so therefore, Q is equal to 10,000. So hence, the quantity required is 10,000 units. Let's look at sample question 3. In sample question 3, the demand function of a firm is given by P equals to 40 minus 2Q. All right? And the average cost is uh, C bar equals to 4 plus 100 over Q. So we are asked to find the revenue function, the cost function, as well as the profit function. Okay, let's start off with revenue function, which is equals to P times Q. 
where P is equals to 40 minus 2Q. So we substitute P with 40 minus 2Q times Q. Simplify. You should get 40 times Q equals to 40Q minus 2Q times Q equals to 2Q square. Alright. So next the cost function is equals to average cost times quantity. Alright. So from here substitute the average cost which is 4 plus 100 over Q times Q. So we should get 4 times Q equals to 4 Q and 100 over Q times Q equals to 100. Next, profit is equals to revenue minus cost. So revenue, uh, the answer is given in A and cost, the answer is from B. So substitute revenue with 40 Q minus 2 Q square minus cost is equals to 4 Q plus 100. Therefore, we should get 40Q minus 2Q square, negative times 4Q equals to negative 4Q, and negative times 100 equals to negative 100. And from here, 40Q minus 4Q is equals to 36Q, and negative 2Q square, we just copy down again, and then finally we have minus 100. So therefore, this is the uh, function for profit.